And now to the Texas takeoff, a huge step forward for the future of space travel. Blue Origins rockets successfully launching this morning in West Texas inside. Of course, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark, Texas aviation legend Wally Funk, and an 18 year old student named Oliver Damon. Now, before we go live to Van Horn, we are starting with the sights and sounds from this 10 minute flight. Oh wow. oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, that's incredible. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Is it everything you thought Fantastic. it would be? It's a very pleasurable experience, just from the sheer, just the way it feels, the tactfulness of it. It was, it was wonderful. True. I want to go again fast. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible stuff indeed. Now this all taking place in Texas as we know, but on the other side of the state, we're talking way out west. As you can see there, Van Horn, about two hours east of El Paso along I-10. And our Xavier Walton was one of the lucky ones to drive out there and see it for himself. Yeah, Xavier, what was it like to witness that historic moment? Well, Rake, uh, Jason, you know what? Hearing the sights and sounds, you're playing back all of those memories for me. But I'll be completely honest, hearing the sonic boom, that was really it for me. That was what was just extremely, extremely, just very cool. Now, while most of the people have left since the launch, obviously, the action happened just over my right shoulder. Here's what it was like for people witnessing history. As the sun got a sneak peek at New Shepard, oh, wow. The early risers. It is so cool. Amazed. It's my first rocket launch, so this is going to be amazing. Four. Command engine start. Two, one. For the first time with humans aboard. I see it. The new Shepard vehicle heading for history with millions of people watching. 11 minutes and look for the parachute. The reusable rocket racing to space at 2,300 miles per hour. Just a few short minutes later, zero G. Look at the blackness of space. Oh. Here, catch. After four minutes of weightlessness, the crew came back to Earth, safely landing 10 minutes and 30 seconds after the launch. And we're both big space fans. Steve Bryant drove from New York to watch history holding his girlfriend's hand. So it was just a good thing to to feel with everybody else here, especially when the sound hits, you know, and they just, you can feel yeah, 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 that percussive wave and just, you feel everybody, hear everybody clapping and being happy, it was good. And Rake Jason, full disclosure, I, I was using my peripheral vision here and I saw him out of the corner of my eye. I thought that guy was gonna drop down on one knee and propose to his girlfriend. He said I was wrong, but anyways, that's why I was, I was talking to him about how emotional he was getting with his girlfriend. Meantime, coming up tonight at five, uh, there were several Houstonians here in Van Horn. They made that trek. We're gonna hear from them coming up tonight on the KHU 11 News <laughs> at five. All right, Xavier, thank you so much. Now, one of the people who was in Van Horn for Blue Origins launch was an impressionable 14 year old boy. Well, you know, it's an, an ex, it's an experience for uh, just my generation the, uh, and the past generation and like the past generations. It, it is driving us towards the future, I guess. <laughs> you could feel Theodore <laughs> Herbie's excitement there and the launch made an impression on him. In fact, the team says he's now thinking about becoming an astronaut when he grows up. Now, Jeff Bezos says taking people into space is not about helping them escape Earth. He actually wants to inspire people to do more to save our planet. He says that view gives you a better understanding of the Earth's beauty and how fragile it is. You look at this thing and you see how small you are. You see that the world is big. You see the atmosphere is small. You see that there are no boundaries, no lines, no national state. You know, this world is full of uh, not enough unifiers and too many vilifiers. And when you get up there, you see that, that we are one world. That is Jeff Bezos talking about making small steps to save mankind. No wonder why this date was picked for the launch. It's the 52nd anniversary of the Apollo moon landing. Of course, what's happening today is also part of a battle for a new industry, space tourism. Jeff Bezos going head to head with 
Richard Branson, who already did a test flight of his space plane in New Mexico. Now, if you missed this morning's launch or you just want to watch it again and again and again, text space to 713-526-1111 and we'll send it right to your phone.